Let's find a nice comfortable seat to start our practice or sadhana. You can be cross-legged, you can be on your feet, in heels, on your heels in Vajrasana. Sit up straight with straight spine, chin up. And then let's gently close our eyes with placing our hands, our knees, with our first finger and thumb, the tips touching together in Jnana Mudra. Just allow that ease to, to begin. So this week we're going to work on our Surya and the Chandra Nadi, the right and the left side energy of the polarity. Just sit straight and pay your soft focus, your attention to your breath and see which nostril is predominantly active for now. Are you breathing more in and out through the right nostril or you are breathing predominantly through the left nostril? Just to pay attention and find out. And as you pay attention, let's see if it makes the change of its own. Let's bring our right hand into Pranayam Mudra. So you can have your middle finger into your eyebrow, your center of your third eye. And using the thumb and the little finger to work with the right and the left nostril. Breathe out. Close your left nostril and inhale through the right. Close your right nostril and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. In through the right. Out through the left. In through the left, out through the right, in through the right, out left. In left, out right, I like you to keep following another three rounds on your own Anulom Vilom, alternative nostril breathing to bring peace, bring balance of the right, left, the Surya Chandra.
completing your third breath just let go release your hands rest your hands on your knees in Jnana Mudra and again just paying your conscious focus to the inner changes especially your brain your awareness hopefully you can feel a bit more centeredness a bit more balance And then let's easily bring our hands to heart into Namaskar Mudra. Breathe out. Keeping your eyes closed, breathe in, raise your arms in a big circle all the way up and over your head. Anjali Mudra and breathe out. Bring your hands back to your heart, in down to your chest. Let's do two more. Breathe in, raise your arms up and over to rise up. And breathe out, bringing your hands back to heart, back to Namaskar. And one more, breathe in. And breathe out. Take your hands on the floor out to both sides, your fingers touching down. Let's work on the right and left. So breathe in, raise your right arm over, drop your left elbow to the floor, stretch to the right side, and breathe out, rise back up into the center. From Surya, moving into the Chandra energy, left side, breathe in, left arm up, extend and stretch over, and breathe out and release. Let's do two more, breathe in, right arm, Stimulating the Surya energy, breathe out and release. Breathe in, left arm up, stimulating the Chandra energy. And breathe out and release. One more, breathe in, Surya energy. And breathe out. Breathe in, stimulating your Chandra, left side of the energy and breathe out lovely and release bring your hands to your knees ease your legs let's bring our both soles or feet together into the badkonasana the bonded feet tithali kriya just simply or easily bounce bounce your knees Eventually aiming to touch our knees to the floor. Okay, maybe we can move our feet one step little forward. So we hold him onto the right foot with the right hand and the left foot with the left hand. Breathe out, breathe in, stretch and open your right leg out to the side and breathe out and release. Breathe in, stretch and open your left leg out. Out and release. Again, breathe in, stimulate the Surya energy. Out and release. Chandra energy, left side. And release. Let's do one more, right leg. And out, let go. And the left leg. Out and let go. And again, just press your knees down and a little bit more gentle hip opening, hip loosening, bouncing of your knees, your legs. Now keeping your left foot where it is, let's just stretch and take our right leg out and away. Almost like in line with our hip if we can. Take a little moment here. Take your left hand away from your body your right hand onto your right knee, breathe out and breathe in, stretch your right arm over and drop towards your left elbow and breathe out and release. Let's do two more, breathe in, stimulating your Surya, the energy of the right side and breathe out and release. Lovely, one more, breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful. Now reach out, catch hold on to your right foot with the right hand. Your left hand can be on your thigh or to your left knee. And breathe in, lift your left arm up and stretch towards the right side. 
and breathe out and release. So moving the Chandra energy into the Surya, breathe in and out. You can reach all the way to catch hold on to your foot if you wish to. Breathe in one more and breathe out and release. Lovely. Bring your feet back together. Again, back to Badkonasana, the bonded feet a little bit more again. A bit of bouncing of your knees, a little bit of hip and pelvic loosening. Keeping your right foot where it is, let's take our left leg out and over. As far as it goes, take your right hand on the floor to the right side. Breathe out. Breathe in, left arm up and stretch over stimulating your chandra energy and breathe out and release returning back to the center two more breathe in left arm over and stretch and breathe out and come back one more breathe in and breathe out lovely now you can hold on to your left foot or your left leg right arm on your knee or your thigh breathe out breathe in right arm up and stretch and reach towards your left foot and out and release crossing our surya energy into the chandra two more breathe in and out and one more breathe in and out Lovely. And release, relax, bring your soles, your feet back together. Again, back to Badkonasana, the bonded feet. And again, bouncing of our knees. Just that conscious loosening up or waking up into your own body, your energetic space. Now let's move our feet one and two, two feet forward. So now we're going to try to stimulate our central energy. Your both palms resting on top of your soles, your feet. Breathe in. As you breathe out, fold forward halfway and then arch your back to bring your top of forehead to your feet. Breathe in, chin up and sit back up. Let's do two more. Breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And then breathe in, come back up to the upright. Now we can keep your feet here or you can move them just the one little step forward. And then bring your left hand forward, put your right hand on top and you're going to thread your hands into Garuda Mudra. So now we're making our Surya, the right side energy, slightly dominating. So breathe in, and as you breathe out, let's see if you can fold forward, bringing your hands to your feet. Beautiful, breathe in, come back up to sit up. Two more, breathe out, lovely, you're doing really well. Breathe in. And breathe out. Great, breathe in, come back up. And then release your hands and let's switch sides. So right hand first, left hand on top. So now we're slightly dominating the Chandra energy, the left side energy, breathe in. And breathe out, bringing your hands towards your feet. Breathe in, rise back up. And breathe out. In and breathe out and breathe in, sit back up and then release or relax your hands. Now ease your legs, let's stretch them apart as far as we can. You can really go as far as if you're trying to do your full split here, take a little movement. Closing your fist with your thumbs inside and do a little bit of tapping into your 
in a tie, just do a little bit of loosening up and relaxing. Release any tension of your legs, your hamstrings, reaching all the way down to your legs. And then reaching back up. And then down and forward. And then back up. And then give a good sweep. Let's do a little bit of bouncing to the right leg again, actively working on your Surya, the right side of your energy. Keep moving a little bit further down. Maybe you can reach to hold on to your foot, chest towards your thigh, head towards your leg. And let's walk to the left side, the left leg, and then follow the same onto your Chandra energy, your left side energy. Keep working on it, keep bouncing, lengthening as deep as you can go. And then let's come into the center, so bouncing into the middle to bring the peace, the harmony, the balance of both energies. Eventually I'd like you to reach out, catch hold on to your feet or your legs as far as you can go. And let's hold here for a few breaths. Now breathe in, swing open your left arm to create the two beautiful geometrical expressions of your energy. So we've got a couple of triangles between our feet and our tailbone, then between our arms and our feet. And then pull yourself to the right side as far as you can and eventually reach your right left arm over to the right foot. So now actively stimulating and forcing the energy of the chandra down towards the right, the surya. Lovely. Release, return back up. Again, folding to the center. Let's come up and move the right arm up and away. And then reach your right hand from above your head towards your left foot as far as you can and hold there. So now, Stimulating, empowering the energy of the left side, the chandra. And release, return back up, back to the center again, fold forward, take a little moment. And breathe in, lift up your arms, over, and release, relax. Just easily bouncing your knees. Fold your left leg and take your foot all the way down and across to the right thigh, the right buttock. And then draw your right knee on top of the left knee. Our Gomukhasana. So again, we got the, the Surya energy dominating. Take a little pose here. Hold on to or put your hands, your, your palms onto your feet, the opposite feet. So now we're just trying to create this beautiful connection of the Surya and Chandra Nadi. Follow a few conscious breaths. If you wish to, let's just fall down. So arch your back and try to bring your top of forehead to touch onto your right knee and we hold there. So closing these energies and allowing them to flow inward. Lovely. Bring your head up and gently or slowly come up to sit straight. Now let's take our left hand above our head and drop it down. And then take your right hand from beneath to see if we can reach up to catch hold on to our hands or touch our fingers. Komukhasana and then look up towards your left elbow and hold there for a few conscious breaths. So now it's a beautiful expression of the union where the, the right side energy is dominating onto the lower body and the left side is dominating into the upper body. Follow a few conscious breaths in your posture. We're going to hold it for a minute. Love it. and gently release or let go. Just bring your hands on top of your right knee. 
sit quiet for a few moments to feel the response from within your body, within your mind and your psychic energy. And then we're going to switch our sides, our legs. So drawing your right foot across to the left thigh, to the left buttock, and then bringing your left knee on top now. Taking again a little moment, a little pause to see how your body feel or how your body respond to it. And palms on your feet, your soles. And let's take a few moments here. Just a couple of conscious breaths. Crisscrossing the connection of these beautiful energies. And then we're going to fall down, bring your top of forehead to your left knee, as close as you can reach, and we hold there. Beautiful. Bring your head up and then sit back up. So now we're going to take our right arm up and above our head, drop your arm down, elbow behind top of your head, left hand from beneath to reach back to catch hold on to your hands or touch your fingers and look to your right elbow. Close your eyes and again we're going to hold into this beautiful Gomukhasana, a beautiful union of the Surya Chandra energies. As you got the left side dominating into the lower body and the right side into the upper body. Keep consciously breathing into the sensations of your body, mind or your energy. And then release, relax, ease your hands and then just place your palms on your left knee. Take a little pause. Breathe into the center. And again, release. Release your body and we're going to bring or come back to our soul. So our feet together back into Badkonasana, the bonded feet. Again, pressing your knees down. You can do a little bit of the Titali Kriya with bouncing of your knees. Have a sip of water if you need. Really important to keep hydrated. And then you just press your knees down, hold here. While we're holding our Baddhikon Asana, let's try if we can hold onto our Mula Bandha for a minute. Pressing your knees down and then squeeze or contract your anal, your pelvic floor muscles and hold onto them. Let's try to breathe softly. And release, let go. Now holding on to both your feet, so your right foot with the right hand, left with the left, we can have our feet a little forward. So now let's work from the center. Little balance on your sitting bone, your feet up. Breathe out. Upavishtasana, breathe in, swing open both your legs as far as you can reach. Lovely, and breathe out and bringing your feet, your soles back together. Few more, breathe in, extend, open up, and breathe out, and one more, breathe in, maybe this time let's try to hold. And lovely, release and let go. From here, just gently turn around, come up on your feet in Vajrasana, which is just bringing our energy into the center. So your knees together, feet together, 
heels can be slightly opening out sit up straight on top of your heels and just take a little moment let's follow our dandakiriya to work through the central energy and also working on the polarity of the, the loma viloma breathe out as you breathe in gently rise up on your knees take your arms behind back bend ustrasana sapurna breathe out come back on your heels and then breathe in here breathe out fold forward into dharmika breathe in roll on top of your head breathe in your buttock up breathe out roll back down Breathe in, gently chin forward and sit back up and over straight. Breathe out. Let's try again. Breathe in, back bend, Ustrasana Sapur. Breathe out, release back towards Rasana. Breathe in. Breathe out, Tarmika. Breathe in, roll on top of your head, raise your back, your buttocks up, and breathe out and release. And breathe in, chin forward and sit back up. And breathe out. One more, breathe in. And out. in and out breathe in roll on your head and out and breathe in chin up and sit back up and over and then breathe out so just taking a little moment here just to feel that central flow of our energy. Now take your left hand behind. If you can, try to touch your fingers to your left foot or your toes. And just breathe in and lift your right arm up and stretch back. And breathe out and release. So count is stimulating the energy of the right and left. Two more, breathe in. And breathe out. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. And then switch sides, your right foot behind. And then breathe out. Breathe in, left arm up, stretch back. And out and release. Two more, breathe in, and out, and again, breathe in, and out. Lovely. Now take your both hands behind, your fingers touching to your toes, so Ustrasana Purna. Breathe out. As you breathe in, lift your buttocks up, stretch your back and head back. And breathe out and release. Let's do two more. Breathe in. And out. And again, breathe in. And out. Lovely. I think we're all doing really well. So maybe let's see if we can do a little bit more active. It can be a little bit crazy. So be careful with your back. So take your left hand behind. So we're going to do the part of the Ustrasana and also the one arm up. So breathe in. Lift your buttocks up and take your right arm up and stretch back. And breathe out and release. So again, count is stimulating the energy of the right and left. Two more. Breathe in. And out. Lovely. One more. And out. 
Beautiful. Let's switch our sides. So now right hand behind, left hand on your left knee. Breathe out. Breathe in. Lift your buttocks up. Stretch back and left arm over. And out and release. Two more. Breathe in. And out. And one more in. And out. Lovely. Now fold forward. Bring your forehead to your knees. And so reaching back to cat fold onto your feet. And hold into Dharma Dharma. Just a couple of conscious steps here. Gently and slowly rise back to sit up straight and then from your feet gently drop your elbows behind and then head back so we're going to go back into the Vajrasana so reclining back on top of your heels your palms resting on your thighs elbows on the floor if possible let's hold here And then gently or slowly come back up all the way to your feet into Vajrasana. So from Vajrasana, let's keep ourselves on to the left foot. So we're trying to close the energy of the Chandra and extend your right leg forward. So we are literally sitting up on top of the left foot if possible. If you got any injury with your ankles on it, then of course you can take your buttocks off your heel on the floor. Sit straight, breathe in, lift your arms over, interlock your fingers, turn your palms inside out, lift up and then point your toes, your right foot away and hold for a couple of moments. Lovely. Now ease your foot, ease your hands, reach forward to catch hold onto your right foot or your right leg with both your hands. Stretch your chin, your chest forward and then head down. Hold into our Chanusthirsa variation. And release. Rise back up and over and then let go and release now can we fold our right leg and hold on to your right foot with both hands stretch your leg forward and then draw it up to move towards our stamamasana more advanced variation hold as far as you can rise your leg Lovely, and then release and relax. Ease yourself to bring your right foot back in. Maybe you can move up into forfeited for a moment just to release your left foot. Do a little bit of tapping and then we're going to come back to sit up on our right foot. And we'll stress our left leg forward, being really careful with your foot. If you feel you need, you can always bring your buttocks on the floor. But if you can sit up on the right foot, that really closes the energy of the right side. Take your hands above your head, interlock your fingers, then turn your palms inside out. And hold up there. Following some conscious breathing. Lovely. Release your hands. Reach forward to catch hold onto your left foot with both your hands now. Nice and extended spine and chin chest forward. And we'll hold here for a couple of breaths. Lovely. Gently head up. Reach your arms over. And then release, you can adjust a little bit on your right foot and then fold your left leg. 
you can hold on to your foot or your leg and then stretch your leg up and over into our stambam variation and breathe there. And release or let go. And let's just ease our legs to the front. Nice and easy. Take your hands behind. Take a little moment, resting head back with resting. Sit down, let's bring our hands on the floor close to our bodies, your fingers pointing inward towards your buttocks. And then fold your left leg, so your foot slightly away from your right knee. Breathe out. Breathe in, lift your back, your buttocks up, moving into our Ardha Pratiphala. And hold there. So again, we got the counter stimulation of the energies of the right and left. And gently or slowly release. And we're going to switch our sides, our legs. Left leg forward. Bring your right foot on the floor with your left knee. Gently push on your hands to lift to raise your back, your buttocks up. Head back, your left foot toes touching the floor if possible. Hold a few breaths. And release. And relax. Let's do it with both legs forward. And then gently press on your hands, lift your back, your buttocks up, your toes reaching all the way to the floor. Pratiphala. And then release. And relax. Bring your hands forward, maybe just do a little bit of loosening up for your hands, your wrists to release any pressure. And let's just come continue again. So sit straight with your legs to the front and then let's easily bring our right foot up. Take it across to the left side. Hold your right foot with the left hand. Extend your leg up and across and then take your right arm away. Now we're just working a little bit on the counter stimulation of the energies of the right and left. Keep breathing in your Vakrasana, your twisted pose. And release. So you're going to place your foot on the floor over your left knee. Now you can just simply hug on to your left knee with the right hand. And then take your right hand behind and over, turn and twist. Look over your right shoulder. Beautiful. And then gently let go, release, relax. Ease your legs and then switch your side. Bring your left leg up. Take it across. Hold on to your left foot with the right hand. Extend and push your leg away and across and then take your left arm away and we're going to hold into that twist. Couple of conscious breaths where you're allowing the energies of the right and left to flow towards each other. And release, place your foot over and across your right leg. And then you take your left right arm to give a big hug to your left knee. Take your left hand behind to swing open into the twist. And hold for a few breaths. And gently and slowly release, relax, return back to the center. And then you ease or stretch your legs to the front. Now bend both your knees and you can catch hold on to both your legs together. You can hold on to your feet. So now we want to stretch or stimulate the central energy, both your energies together. 
Breathe in and extend your legs forward and up as hard as you can. Our extended Navasana and we're going to hold there for a few breaths. And release and relax. Stretch your legs to the front. Fold forward into Paschimottanasana. Just doing the upper and the lower body the energies together. And then lift up your head, rise them up and over. And release or relax. Just give a nice rotation into your shoulder blades in one direction and the other direction. And let's just do a bit of good cleansing and then you can find your space for relaxation. So power the mukti kiriyas. So we'll do the right leg, left leg and both legs. Breathe in, draw your right knee and your head together. Push and let go. Left leg in. Both legs. Surya energy in. Chandra energy in. Both the sides. And again, Surya energy. Chandra energy. Both energies. Let's do one more. Right side. Left. Both. Lovely. I think that's enough. Find your space. So if you can lie down with head to the north, feet to the south, if possible. Yeah. And then time to let go. Just let go, release, or relax in your space, all the way from your head to feet, keeping warm, keeping comfortable. It's a bit of working on our yin yang or polarity in various ways, various sequences. It's a very important part of that balance, balance of your body, mind, balance of your intellectual and your creativity, balance of that outgoing and incoming action and relaxation. So it's time to just let go, let go all the way from your head to your feet and your feet to head. In this letting go space, I would like you to pay a little attention, a little focus to right side of your body, all the way from your head to your right foot, your spine, your back, dividing it in the middle. Taking all your attention to the right side of your body for a few minutes and in that right side of your body can you try to use your creative your imagining mind fill it in with a vibrant golden color vibrant golden energy of the Sun the Surya energy We'll leave you for a few minutes and then I'll come back to the second part.
all the right side of your body, your energy, your Surya, your solar energy to become vibrant, warm, golden color into the right side. Now consciously take your mind into left side of your body from your head to your foot again your spine your backbone dividing in the middle and pay all your attention into the left side of your body and in our left side using your imagining mind your creative mind to bring cooling vibrant lunar color color of the moon all through the left side of your body vibrant cooling lunar energy the moon color the moonlight all the way into your left side of your body try to pay attention to both your sides together your right side filled with a vibrant golden energy of the Sun and your left side nourished nurtured with the lunar energy of the moon like the two halves of your body with the Sun and the moon energy the solar and the lunar energy You can visualize like the two rivers flowing in opposite directions so the golden river of the right side flowing down and then the silvery moon color river flowing up through the left side
mentally and emotionally try to rise above this conflict between our head and heart when the energies of the right left surya chandra yin yang flow in harmony then we naturally come to the coherence between our intellectual and creative being as our heart follows the sense of feeling love connection while our head follows more of the the reason the purpose the goal as we like to be intellectual so bringing the union of the heart and the head the surya and the chandra Just let go now. Let go of your visualization, and for a minute or so, just to feel the connection between your heart and head. heart primarily desires for love connection head primarily desires for success the goal the fruit let them both to be one
we feel you are ready then gently and consciously begin to come back out of your relaxation returning back to your physical body your conscious mind your awakening with couple of breaths and then gently wiggling your toes your fingers your feet pulling your head side to side your big stress of your arms or your head Create that long waking up stretch. Draw your knees to your chest and then roll up and down or side to side. Create a further waking up sensations or easing sensations. And then roll over towards your left side when you feel you're ready, resting with your solar energy, right side up and active for a few more moments. And gradually come up to your seated position when you are ready to sit upright with hands to heart, namaskar. And then gently with your hands, your palms together to roll in the mat. And a nice soft touch all over your face, then your head, your neck and your shoulders. And let's just gently or easily open our eyes when we're ready. Namaste, thank you very much.